Welcome to the Jerry Graves Channel. This channel talks about narcissists. I want to go ahead and jump straight into the topic. But first, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Let's jump into it. Now, if you're not familiar with the comic that's portrayed in the background, it's from a manga called Act Age. And the writer of the comic actually was uh, accused of sexual, I guess, sexual misconduct against a, a minor. He rolled up on her on his bike and just groped her and rolled off. And he was actually caught on camera. And he, when they, the police found him, he basically admitted to it. And he also was caught on camera doing it to another female uh a, a, another minor and the thing is is that he he said that there's generally nothing incorrect about what you guys are charging me with so you know he almost uh he pretty much he's he's screwed and the thing about this story that strikes me enough to actually make a, a post about it is because I was actually reading his comic. Like, I, I, I don't normally read his comic, but I've read his comic before. Like, I'm familiar with this person. And it's just strange for somebody to do this when you're talking about a manga that was actually successful. And if you guys don't know, like, it was in Shonen Jump. And usually most mangas that are in Shonen, Shonen Jump actually don't make it like they get canceled and yeah the viewers uh vote on it and you know it, it doesn't make it and so for him to actually even make it to the company like it's actually hard to get on there and to be a successful have a successful cartoon is like one in a million there's so many people that wish they could be in this person's position and uh, before I continue, I want to get this guy's name. His name is Tatsuya Masuki. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, because I don't want anybody to get confused with somebody else. But I'm going to link the, the, basically I'm going to link the article in the description if you want to read about it. But it's like, to me, this is like a perfect depiction of, a monster in society, you know, he was on the verge of probably getting his own anime, I actually believe he was in talks of having his show animated and put it on TV, and which is every creator's dream, and he was really taking off, which is, again, like, it's one in a million, it's rare for somebody to actually come up with something that people want to animate, and so... The idea that he went and did this, like, before, right before all of this happened, just shows you how big of a monster this person was, where you just can't help yourself. You know, this person could not help themselves, and that's probably the reason why he was so willing to turn himself in, because he just knows he's a monster. Like, there's no telling how far this guy would have gone if he could have gone on, and it just shows you how much people don't care like and how you're not completely safe no matter what position you are around these types of people because they can reach a breaking point and just be like i, I don't i don't care i'll i'll, I'll do what i want to do in in broad daylight and just get caught and give up everything because it's i can't i, I have this urge and i'm just going to go out and do it and that's what makes them so Dis, you know, disgusting, but also so dangerous, you know, and it's just, to me, it's just absurd that somebody would actually make it, he was like, you know, a few years or maybe a few months away from becoming a millionaire and being famous worldwide, because this cartoon was going to go, and the company, uh, Shuisha, which was posting in his cartoon online and uh, distributing it, like completely got rid of the cartoon. They scrubbed 
it off the the web all their digital posts of him and which is you know done the right way like i've heard some people say that maybe you should separate the work from the person but i don't i don't think you can i don't think you can like now when i look at this i, I almost get kind of uh chills thinking about uh the monster behind this you know even this image that i'm looking at now like you know how how bad of a person this was you know what what has this person done in their life you know to to think that they could even do this and try to get away with it you know and so yeah he's still under arrest he's still in jail in japan but at the same time again it's just a lesson to be learned that you know some people can gain everything and they still will go out and do some monstrous stuff, you know, to children. <laughs> Even when you, you have everything that you want, you they're still willing to throw everything away. And that's something that we have to have in our minds, you know, you know, when you go out into the world that there's people out there like this. And uh, hopefully you can keep yourself safe and your children safe. And... I'm glad uh, they got rid of this uh, this monstrous cartoon, but and the 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 crazy thing was is that it it was actually really good, which was surprising. Like that a monster can cre create something like this, and it just makes you think like all the people that you you watch and that you're entertained by, like what type of secret life that they have, where they could just be a completely different person, you know. So just a, just a, a reminder and just maybe you want to read the the article i'm gonna have it listed in the description uh thanks for watching just keep you updated with what's going on in the world maybe a lot of you guys haven't watched or heard it of this but uh again this was going to be like something that was going to be huge this was about to be a mega hit and uh yeah so peace